Hello everyone, my name is Jaspreet Singh and this is a video of me explaining the code and the steps that I took to make a script that can take an interview video as an input and convert the speech part of the video to text and also detect various emotions of the interviewee in that video. So the two main libraries used for this are OpenCV and Keras. This project can be divided into two parts. So the first one is building and training a model that is capable of detecting the emotions of a person from an image. And the second part is to use this model along with speech recognition tools to analyze an interview video. Here is the code for the first part. So I'm building a face recognition model over here. These are the libraries that I've used for building the model. So the dataset is facial emotion recognition 2013. So let's have a look at the dataset. So this dataset came out seven years ago as a as a challenge. So as we can see over here, the data consists of 48 by 48 pixel grayscale images of faces, and all of those faces uh, represent one of these seven emotions. And if we look at the leaderboards, so the best model till now has achieved about 71% of accuracy and if we look at the fifth one it's about 65.2 so let's try to build a deep learning model based on this data set and let's see how much accuracy we can pull off so if we look at the top three rows in this uh, data set so there are three columns emotion pixels and usage so the range of emotion is from zero to six and it represents the different emotion for that image and the pixels represents the pixel for the image. There are actually three different uh, unique values for usage. They are training, private test and public test. So what I've done over here is I have kept all the images that had training as the usage to the training set along with their labels. And the images that had usage as public test, I've kept them for the testing set and the images that had private test as the usage, I have kept them for the validation dataset. So over here, I'm just printing the length of uh, the training, testing and validation dataset, just to have an idea how many of them are in there. If we look at the type of the training images, so we can see that the type right now is list, and we really need to convert these lists to float 32 type before we can send them to the deep learning model. So over here, I'm just converting them as float 32. And now if we look again at the type of the training images, it's numpy.ndra. Uh, that's good. Uh, these are the various emotions that I just picked up from here. And over here, I'm converting the labels to categories. I think we can skip this part because the labels for the images are already categorical. So uh, we could have used this just in case they were not categorical and they were simply string or character like angry, fear, happy or sad. If you look at the maximum pixel value in any image, it can be 255. So they, they start from zero and they can go up to 255. So to make sure that they are in range of 0 to 1. Over here I'm reshaping the training, testing and validation images. The first value represents the number of training images and then I want them as 48 by 48 tensor and one is because the images are grayscale. So just in case if they were colored images, so RGB images, I, I would have used three over here. Over here, I'm just making sure that the shape of the images have actually changed. So I'm printing the shape of the first training image and it's 48481. That's good. But this is the part where I'm building the CNN model for, for this data set. I have basically used three layers and all those layers are basically the same. Uh, but the number of nodes or you can say neurons in every con 2D uh, layer just keeps on doubling every time. I also tried different values for dropouts and 0.3 worked out to be the best for me. 
it's okay to experiment around with this uh, model uh, you can try changing these uh, nodes or the dropout rates or you can even try adding a new layer after the convolution um, basically flattening the data over here before sending it to the fully connected layers um, and I've used two fully connected layers and one as an output layer you can try reducing them at the output layer I have seven neurons because there are seven different emotions that are present in the data and the optimizer that I've used is Adam with a learning rate of 0 0.001 you can try experimenting with different optimizers and learning rates as well and there are also various techniques where you can use uh, exponential learning rate or step step decay or even look ahead optimizer here's the summary of my model uh, now it's time to train the model so i'm fitting the model on training data uh, the batch size that i've used is 64 and i'm training it for 40 epochs uh, and the validation data is of course uh, the one that i formed earlier so after the end of the 40 epochs i get a validation accuracy of 63 percent which is not super good but not bad either if we plot the training and the testing accuracies they are something like this and clearly after around, around 20 epochs the model is just purely overfitting on the training data and not really improving on the validation one and same goes for the loss so the loss for the validation data is not really decreasing after 20 epochs over here I am uh, evaluating the model on the testing data so the accuracy that I get is 62.6% .6 and this is the classification report uh, we can see that the precision for the category happy is pretty good which is 86 and it is followed by surprise and neutral so we can say that these are the three best uh, emotions that our model can detect correctly this is a really important step so what I'm doing over here is I'm saving the model architecture as a JSON file and I'm also saving the weights as .h5 file so the second part where I use this model on a video I don't need to keep training my model again and again I just can load the model using these two files so here is the code for the second part which we can say is the main part as it's doing all the job of analyzing the interview video so first there are a bunch of different libraries that I have imported over here I'm, I'm setting the path for the video interview so I'm just using a video of me where I talk about myself for a minute here I'm loading the face cascade for detecting the face you can find this file where your OpenCV library is stored so over here I'm just loading the models that I previously stored I'm reading the JSON file for the model and then I'm loading the weights into the model the speech detection path so over here I'm extracting the video name so I'm dropping the whole path and I'm just keeping the video name so it will be something like me in a minute dot mp4 and then I'm dropping the mp4 part and I'm just keeping me in a minute uh, over here I'm getting the directory where the video is stored and now by combining the video name which will be me in a minute and the video path I'm, I'm just creating a new path where the dot wav audio file will be stored after converting the video to audio so I'm using a library known as speech recognition and then I'm using Google speech recognition to convert that audio to text and then I'm just printing the recognized speech to just have an idea whether it was able to detect anything or not and now comes the emotion detection part I'm capturing the video using CV2 and the video path here is the list of emotions and then I'm creating an empty list uh, which will be later used to store the various emotions detected in the video so now I'm reading the image frame by frame I'm restricting the width to 600 pixels without disturbing the aspect ratio for the video this loop will run till the end of the video I mean till there is a next frame so just to be clear this what this loop actually does it is it reads the 
video frame by frame and over here it converts the frame to grayscale and then I'm using the face cascade to detect the faces from that gray image and this code will actually work for multiple faces as well so every face detected in that frame I'm first drawing a rectangle and then I'm cropping the face and resizing the face to 48 by 48 pixel because remember we built our, our model based on images that were 48 by 48 so if, if you are going to use that model to predict an, on a new image that image should be 48 by 48 and grayscale as well and then I'm converting the image to pixels and then I'm scaling the pixels the same way that I did while building the model and then I'm simply sending the pixels to the model for predictions the model prediction will actually be an array and there will be seven different elements in that array and each element will uh, actually represents how much the model thinks that the image belongs to that particular category so let's say how much the model thinks that the person in that image is happy or sad or any other emotion and then I'm extracting the maximum argument the actually the index of the maximum argument from that array so let's say the third index was the maximum from that array so the third emotion is happy if the third value has the most argument it would mean that the model thinks that that image belongs to the category happy after detecting the emotion I stored the emotion in a list that we earlier created I'm also writing the detected emotion on the rectangle that we earlier formed around the face uh, this loop will break as soon as the key Q is pressed and at the end I'm closing the open CV and I'm destroying all the windows so remember how we were storing every emotion in that list now I'm using a counter library to actually count how many times each motion occurred so now at the end I'm displaying the detected speech along with a pie chart that shows the different detected emotions now let's run this code do remember if you want to run this code on your local PC all you have to do is edit the video path but you also need to have all these libraries installed So it's displaying the input file for the video and and it says that this audio file already exists do you want to override it this is because I have run this code earlier multiple times so uh, the audio version of the video already exists so I'm just uh, I'm just simply gonna say yes overwrite it it converted the video file to the audio file and now the speech recognition library is processing the audio file to detect the speech this is the detected speech So uh, here are the results for my video interview. So as you can see, I was uh, I was 98% neutral throughout the video, and 1% sad and happy. This model is not 100% correct at predicting the emotions, but it did its job pretty good. I'll just open what I actually said in that video. Uh, so this is exactly what I said and this is what the detected speech was uh, Now it could be because of my accent or maybe because that the microphone that I used while recording that video was not great Thank you so much